Welcome everyone, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly use SQL Developer Web to manage your Oracle database users in an Oracle Autonomous Database. So when you log in from your OCI console, you'll generally be taken straight to a SQL worksheet. This is where you can do things like run SQL, and here you could do something like create user or alter user. And that's nice, especially if you know those commands. Um, but if you want to rest enable a schema, reset their password, expire a user, grant them privileges or roles, um, that might be a, a little bit annoying to have to type out. So what you can do now is if you click this uh, button in the left-hand corner, we call it a hamburger menu, but you'll see based on your privileges, if I'm the administrator of this account, not only do I have this actions menu, but I also have this administration menu, and that can take me to the user management page. This up here at the top is the home page, and if I click that, I'll have a list of cards organized by um, the type of uh, actions that I might want to take or workflows that I want to run through. And then over here to the right, I have a getting started um, guide. kind of gives me some quick links that I can click on to learn more about the tool. But I want to talk about user management. So in this page up top, I have everything I need to know about my account. So I'm logged in as the admin user. And this up here is telling me about the admin user. The admin user is REST enable. That means admin can both publish REST services, but also log in to SQL Developer Web. Uh, I can see when my last login was. I can see how good my, how long my password is good for. And I have a, a quick link here if I want to share this with someone else on my team that I trust. I can say here's the link you can go click to log in as this user. Now down below I have all the other users in the database. And I don't have very many. I have six uh, at the time, at the moment. Each of these cards have a status indicator. And if I mouse over them, I can see what's going on. Same um, information as we have up top, just more compressed um, size. I can see that they're REST enabled or not. I can see how long their password's good for. If I have many, many users in the system, I can search. Or I can also ask for this um, grid style report. And I have the same features that I have available to the cards. Now I can edit an existing user if I want. I can say, Maria, you caused problems the last time I let you into my system. And so I've disabled the REST access. She can no longer log in using SQL Developer Web and she can no longer publish REST services on my database. Um, maybe I want to create a new account for a new member on my team. So I have this button here I can click. And his name is Victor. I'm going to allow him to log in. Oh, this is nice. I always fat finger. I could toggle this that would make him change his password at login time, but I gave him a good password up front. And I could alias his um, URIs for REST services, but I'm not going to do that just to make this demo a bit easier. Um, now I want Victor to be a co-administrator on this account, so when he logs in I want him to be able to create tables and stuff, but I also want him to help me manage my other users. So if I go over here to page 2, I can see that a few of these are going to be checked by default, like connect and resource. But I also want to check PDB DBA. So let's come back over here and just, yep, that looks good. So it automatically opens this user for me. I can see the rest enabled. I see the password's good for more than a year. I got this link I can now go give to Victor. 
but I'm just going to confirm the roles. Yep. All right, so I'm going to pretend to be Victor. Um, great. So I have the user management here. So as Victor, I can come in and do all of the same things that I was doing as admin. Like it could be really mean. Social pictures user needs some help. So we'll unexpire them. And that user is no longer locked. Now, if you need some help using this page, it's fully documented. And the documentation slides out over here to the right. And you can peruse the table of contents. And you can even move this thing around if you'd like. I want to thank you for your time today, and uh, happy SQL dubbing.